Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous Redux version Normal Difficulty. I'm your host, Colors Fade, and it's episode 72. We're in the Midnight Fane. We know how to get out of here. It's this magical barrier over here. So we need to go through... Let's see. What's going to be the easiest way? Well, it looks like you can go through here, but you can't. There's a way over here. Where's the magical barrier? Right there. So I think that's how we get out of here. And the, your journal entry says, Find a way to Dresden. Within the gloomy walls of this place where the demon lords were once honored, there may still be a way up. One the queen herself failed to find. Remember, there was this door that we couldn't go through last time. So I'm going to save the game here. Because this is the point where we need to make saving throws um and, and so what i'm gonna do is find uh wisdom there's inspired wisdom plus two don't really care about that i want to do type there we go learning charisma that would be nice but it's not helpful wisdom wisdom plus four wisdom plus four that's the best we can do it has bands of vast intelligence and stuff like that. Wisdom plus four. It's just to help raise our saving throws. Because it, it's help, It's not actually to help raise our saving throws. It's to help raise this. Um, you're going to get a... You're going to get a check. I think it's... Perception maybe? I'm not sure. Dresden. Okay, the way back. So here's our group. There is going to be some kind of saving throw involved here in the future. Actually, you know what? We're a little ways away from it, so I thought it was going to be like the very next thing we did, but it's not. I want my intelligence back. All right, let's go. Is there... What do we have here? Who's this person? What's he doing? Little gnome. Oh, bother. What does that mean? Hmm. I don't know. He's in here checking some stuff out. Looting bodies. Rootin' footin' tootin' for looting. Okay, so let's save here and see what happens. This looks like... Dresden. And we're outside. Oh, yeah. Things have gone poorly, haven't they? Okay, yeah, we have to make it all the way up to the commander's watchtower. Hmm, a dead body from the look of it. Okay, potion of remove blindness. What do we have over here? Some guys. Oh, jeez. Everyone. Everyone, be careful. Whoa, why am I getting him? this turn this on grab vampiric blade Get some of my health back there we go that's pretty awesome ember where are you why are you getting absolutely hammered here you can heal yourself so do it ember why so, and we got attacked. Let's go through. So, yeah, Dresden. All that trouble we went to to save Dresden. And now it's no longer being saved. The queen admonishes us before we go down to Lucianera. And so she decides to take charge again, and guess what? She takes charge, and she stinks at it. Big surprise. I shouldn't have a negative level because this stuff really can't affect me. She's got a negative level. Dude, fix that on her. Emba, you can see the top right icon there, and it disappears. Okay. 
so everybody's got some negative level protection from them. Who is this? Oh, it's... What's her name? Anivia. Hold it! State your names. My archers will shoot you where you stand. Do you not recognize me? Ha! Can't believe you fell for that, Commander. <laughs> Ain't got no archers. I was just kidding with you. I saw you climbing out, and I was wondering what kind of welcome to give you. Ha! I bloody knew it. I told him. I told him you'd come. I got some winnings to collect. <laughs> so you want to bet? Do I get to share the winnings? I'll donate your share to the treasury if we survive. The stuff's that's going on here right now, Commander. It's a long story. All right, let's go talk somewhere more suitable. I gotta warn you, the news ain't good. So now we're here inside the temple. There you have it, Commander. Our temporary camp. It's embarrassing to have to show you how things have turned out. But now we're gonna do something about it. I'm sure you have nothing to be ashamed of. You did everything you could. Thank you, Commander. We're holding on for now somehow, but things are gonna be different now you're here. I just know it. We're gonna defend this fortress. Anyway, let me finally get you caught up on everything you missed. Things were quiet at first. You know, as quiet as they were when you were here. I mean, the Queen took hold of the reins, but she wasn't gonna go against your wishes, so she kinda left everything as it was. She just told everybody to hold on and you'd be back soon. Things carried on like that for six months. I was gone for six months. Uh, yeah. Why are you acting so surprised? I'm no expert in demon stuff, but it hasn't been that long for you. There's definitely something fishy going on. A magical trap or something like that. Right, so six months passed. What happened next? So, listen. Six months, that ain't nothing, you know. After a while, we realized that you, well, that maybe you wouldn't be coming back. The queen was real cut up about it. She was always praying to Iomade, asking for a council. One time I overheard her blaming herself for sending you to the Abyss. But you know our Galfrey, she's laid plenty of friends to rest in her life. If she called off the crusade after every death, we'd have lost to the demons a long time ago, right? So Galfrey pulled herself together and made a decision. To push forward before the demons recover from their last defeat. To go on the attack before they thought of doing the same to us. You were declared dead, see? We did things properly, though. Threw you a big funeral feast and everything. Everybody was bawling their eyes out. Even Beth shed a tear for you. The queen took the sword of valor, but she left the wardstone here and a detachment of shoulders to guard it. She said anybody who wanted could stay, but that they should know one thing. You weren't coming back. I wanted to go with Beth at first. I even started packing my stuff, but then I realized I couldn't do it. I just kept thinking, you are my commander been through so much together so I told Beth all this and she said to me stay I know what you're feeling I know your love is with me but if the commander comes back and finds no one here he'll lose faith in us I miss her like crazy but I'm grateful as well she's bound by her oath to the Queen seeing as how you're not the commander anymore but she gave me the freedom to do what my heart told me I'm not here on my own you know there's a whole gang of us ragtag crew for sure but we're all united we're all fighting for you, except less than a week after Galfrey left with the army, the demons had us in a pincer movement. Orin Gofta on one side, and that fat hog on the other side, and that bitch up in Avicius. There ain't many of us, and our blessed cleric from Canabras just took off recently, heading who knows where. He see had a dream about some gal and some fella called Mutasafa, and there was a waterfall. <laughs> so the population of Dresden has been evacuated? Yeah. The queen got as many people out as she could. Those who agreed to go, that is. Even the dungeons were emptied and the prisoners evacuated. I did hear that somebody might have escaped on the way to Nerosian, but I didn't ask for details. It's not our problem anymore. Of course, they couldn't move the bodies of those poor people whose souls were stolen by that jeweler, Sunhammer, or whatever his name is. They've been sheltered in the city. Arasino has been looking after him, and Sila's pals from the Hound Hearts have been guarding them all this time. Demons have attacked a few times and given the knights a thrashing. Only Elon was left standing. But none of the victims came to any harm. By Desna, I hope their souls are found so all this won't have been for nothing. Alright, we covered recent history. What's happening now? It's all hands on deck here. The One-Eyed Devil Squad is holding on at the tavern. And he lowers in the dungeons. And the storyteller. He had some vision about you and the queen. 
You took off running, saying you needed to touch her things to find out where she is. If she's in dire straits, we need to go and help her once we deal with things here. And Captain Sealkin, remember him? Was given the boot by his superiors. He wasn't getting along with him, so they tossed him out on his ear. Get this, the guy just walks right out through the city gates, packing his back heading west like he's going for a stroll. Dumb fool. What happened? He didn't see eye to eye with his superiors. The higher ups didn't like the way Silkine was assigning more and more soldiers to surveying the territory, leaving less and less for military actions. The captain had a dream about discovering a surviving Sarkorian village like Winter Sun, and he got carried away. A couple of knights from Nerosian showed up with orders to strip him of his rank, and the Silkine started yelling about how once again the nobility was neglecting the interest of the common folk. He said that he was trying to carry out a rescue mission, because that's what he called it. Well, the top brass were only interested in glory from winning battles and the gold Galfrey would put in their pockets. He was about to be thrown out on his ass, but Seelkind beat them to it. He just disappeared. He left Dresden and went who knows where. A new captain was sent to replace him, but the queen took him and his soldiers with her when she left. Hmm, I see. He didn't deserve to be treated like that. He's a good man. You got that right. I hope he's still alive. If you come across him, tell him to come back, will you? Maybe Silkine's career isn't over yet. Where'd the queen go? Has there been any word of her? Anivia shakes her head. She didn't say anything to those of us who were staying behind. In case the demons got their claws on us, you know. They could force the information out of us. I don't know if what the storyteller saw was a dream or a vision, but he just dashed off toward the citadel. Said he was going to hold some of Galfrey's things and find out where she was headed because the commander would be back soon and would be asking about it. That's the last I heard from him. He's been gone half the day. Uh, where are the mongrels? Why didn't they help? Deserted, they did. I didn't see that coming, I'll admit. They were good people. Strong. There were no signs anything was wrong. But one night, they all just got up and was one and left. The guards at the gate tried to stop him. Fat lot of good that did. The mongrels slit the guards' throats and vanished into the wound. Nobody knows what happened to him, but there have been rumors. All right, what are we going to do? Now that you're here, there's only one thing for it. we got to win. But to do that, we need to hit him with everything we got. One and done. Here's what we'll do. You head for the Citadel and send everyone who's manning outposts in the city back to me. I'll get a squad together. We'll meet up again at the Citadel and sock him with one final punch. And one more thing. Remember the Bell of Mercy? The relic you returned? You'll be walking right past it. Make sure to give it a good whack to make all the demon's eyes pop out. It'll at least give us a fighting chance. I heard it's good at frying scum of all kinds. All right, back to work. Yes, sir, and don't worry about your pals from the Fane. I'll get them here in one piece. Well, okay, so we got a little bit to go before we have to start making the saving throws. So... And I probably screwed up my spells by... Oh my gosh, what happened? I got level 9 spells that I don't have memorized. Okay. Summon monster. Heroic invocation. Fiery body. Oh my god. What is corrupt magic? Targeted dispel magic. They can dispel multiple spells. Oh. It's like pierce magic, kind of. I have to grab one of those. Okay, so let's do... I have foresight. 10 minutes per level. That's nice. One minute per level for that. Ten minutes per level for that. Oh, that's nice. And that's all friendly people. So I'm going to grab a couple more, like, fiery bodies. Foresight's ten minutes per level. That's nice. Heroic invocation. Wow. Yeah. That's a really nice buff. Hmm. Negative eruption. Harm spell, but affects all creatures in a 30-foot radius. Additionally, all affected undead creatures gain some stuff. Harm. Okay. Flay for purpose. Every creature has a purpose in life, and that is to serve you. Target is affected by repurpose, except the damage is 2d6 per round. After that, the target makes a fortitude save. If it fails, the target takes 10 damage. I'm not going to worry about those, because pretty soon they're going to be gone. I'm going to grab another fiery body and another one of those. Those are those are really cool. I'm going to rest and see if I can get some of this stuff... Back. Frightful Aspect, yeah. Summon Monster, I got one of those. Domain of Hungry Flesh, I won't be using these. 
because we're gonna like I said we're gonna lose them all here real soon so do that okay oh my gosh legendary proportions yeah feast of blood which is nice but we'll be losing that one circlet of clarity true scene communal should have a couple of those a couple of summon monsters another firebrand that'll be nice okay yeah we'll be able to rearrange all the rest of this here shortly should we rest yeah let's rest what the heck let's rest and then we'll get at it <laughs> the animals falling it's, I kind of feel like they need to fix that it just looks a little goofy alright I'm going to buff and then we're going to get out of here alright we're buffed we're ready to go lots of buffs it's going to be so excited <laughs> it's neat to have a converged spell book with the lich but it's also a bit much. It's a bit too many spells. There's a sweet spot in the game, in my opinion, and it's like early on in the game when you're about level six, seven, eight, when you've got enough spells to really do some things, but you don't have too many to where it makes it like analysis, paralysis analysis. It's like, I don't know what to cast. What do I do? <laughs> He's back. Now we're sure to hold Dresden. Yeah, well. We will be victorious. Okay. Oh, wow. It's crunching those guys. Let's go with... Let's do this. There you go. Everybody's hasted. Let's go deal with that. Ember. Just kind of smack this guy down. the attacks of opportunity yeah nice okay what do we have here doink oh yeah you're all dead my skills exceed yours dominator run through there and get her Oh, <laughs> look at the attacks of opportunity. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. Sneak attacks. 84, 79. Eden, you are a badass. Let's go this way. I won't let you hurt my friends. Oh, what do we have here? Okay. Captain, you're gonna have to get it. Whoa! Heal everybody, please. You go kill this thing. Keep healing, Buster. Oh. That's not the way I imagined things going. Bismuth suffered a crippling wound. I was a little careless there. A little careless there. It's going to be interesting playing through the game again on core difficulty in turn-based mode and forcing myself to just be more careful with stuff. All right. Some people here can do things like this. All right, you. Try this again. Can you not use? Oh, he's still dealing with this the effects of being raised, I think. Is there anything that we could loot off this fat boy? Oh, an unholy longsword plus one. Okay, so we can't go in that way. Hmm, alright. Are you done tiddlywinking around here then? 
adventures await. Yes. Quick run. Hey, what, 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 what's going on here? We're missing a spell. Right, that one, right there. Okay. In order to get it over in its proper site, you gotta do this. There we go. Give me this. Quick run. Run from what? What am I running from? Let's have her haste us all. Find out what the heck we're running from. Hmm. I'm going to do one other thing. I forgot to buff with these. Let's do electricity. Gold. Some extra acid. Hmm. This place is a mess. A noble praying at the big old pillar. Yeah, I feel like, you know, being a parent, it's like I left the house for the weekend and came home and this place is a disaster. What what did you kids do? go well you can fight then ember i would prefer if you do it by killing those guys bring your innovation at me i buffed for it punks we have what oh yeah cleansing okay cleanse the power So we have the prison. Uh, I don't think we need to go into prison for anything. What do we have? Find Captain Seelkind. That's out in the world. Casket of Finer. Step away from defeat. The half measure tavern has turned out to be a decent bastion for holding off demons. But now its defenders must be notified that troops are being assembled. Half measure tavern should be over here somewhere. I, I assume we have to go around. Yeah, that's what it looks like. There's the half measure tavern. But we're going to go... What's... What's this loot I keep missing? Oh, there's a box here. Don't get excited. <laughs> Who are we fighting now, gentlemen? You could carve that stuff out of the way there. Oh, I have succubuses of some... Wow, sneak attack damage. Oh my goodness. I am just wrecking things, aren't I? It's very nice. <laughs> it's... <laughs> oh yeah. I am the battle mage. It's a class that takes a lot of levels to come into its own. But when it does, it is fun. Alright. Yeah, this. This... We're going to need all that money. Going to need all that money to help put together our army once again. There's still a couple little bugs in the game here. You can see that, that our brown for our transmuter and our priest, our cleric, both have pets, but their pet bars aren't showing up. I presume because they were taken out of the party by the game and then added back into the party by the game when we left that area, so... Still some work to do there, Alcat. The one-eyed tiefling wipes the sweat off his forehead. Don't be scared, lads. We'll get through this. The walls are sturdy here and reinforcements will come. You'll see. Hmm. It's a shame the half-measure has suffered so much damage. The tiefling looks around. You call this damage? It's only a little messy. We'll fight off the demons first and then we'll renovate this place so it's better than it was before. I'm already planning to order a new counter. And I guess I'll renovate the ceiling as well, since I'm doing all the rest. Hmm. Maybe I should change the floor, too. It's been a while. Commander, the wait is over. I'm not dreaming. I can't believe it. Fi gives you a friendly wave. Commander, so good to see you. We had a grand old time at your funeral feast. We'll have an even better time at your homecoming party. Later, of course, after we fight off this scum. Time to move. Yes, Commander. Fall back, lads. We've got nothing more to do here. Is there anything else? Yeah, there's a little piece of loot here. 
Hey, there's a magical essence there. How nice. Actually, why don't you guys stay here? One person is all that's needed to go do this. Anything in here? Yeah, there is. What's this? Oh, place to rest. Great, brilliant. Well, I don't think we're going to need that. Yep, let's get out of here. Let's go, team. Well then. Oh, look. More spells and diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. They're also mine. Diamonds are a cleric's best friend. Well, that looks certifiably ugly. Let's go through here. Let's see what we can see. Oh yeah, right over here by our fancy necromancer tower. What's going on here? More guys coming to their doom? Whoa, look at that. Whoa, scary. Gelma. Yeah, Ember, what do you want to do? Oh, the team is just crushing. That's awesome. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Nothing else to do here. There is a big chest over here that requires my service. Greater Quicken Mag Meta Magic Rod. Yes. All right, this looks ugly. Let's go. Uh, we can't get on top there. The Citadel. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go in here, and then when we come out on this balcony is where we're gonna have to make the the roll to get legendary. So, the legendary, the legend, mythic path where we will spurn this so-called gift we've been given the last time we were here and had to fight it was against Staunton Vane and Minago and now what do we have here well look who it is it's the storyteller long months have passed commander but even while you were away on the other plane I could hear your brave heart beating that sound never stopped for a second Finian laughs. You're a lively one, Grandpa Elf. Always finding yourself in the most dangerous spots. But I'm glad still to see you. Although you'd be safer tucked up by a fire somewhere. Hmm. How have things been these past six months? Not very well from what I heard from Anivia. The Queen showed us nothing but respect and fair treatment. After she decided to proceed with the crusade, many of us chose to stay with the unit ordered to protect the Wardstone until you returned. It was an easier decision for me than for others. I had encountered you in the abyss and I knew you were alive, but not everyone believed me. And then yesterday I had a vision. I was leafing through the pages that you had collected for me and suddenly I saw the future. Not the future clamoring to be told by the page in my hand, but your future. The future of the person who first brought that page to me. In my vision... You returned from the abyss marked by new powers, the wound around you like marked by new powers that wound around you like snakes. Your voice made the earth tremble. People and demons dropped to their knees, and Iomade herself extended you a helping hand. But the only thing you were concerned with was the whereabouts of the banner that Queen Galfrey had taken with her. I know what I saw is difficult to believe, but I am in the habit of trusting my visions. So I heard to the Citadel to lay hands on some of the Queen Galfrey's possessions and try to discern where she went and where your banner is now. It wasn't easy. I see the Queen's future and her past as if looking through shattered glass. Multiple visions come one after another, distorting the picture. The Queen is in mortal danger at the crossroads of her fate, and her every step may prove fatal. But I did not give up, and fortune smiled upon me. I touched her goblet and learned where she was leading her army. Her Majesty decided to march for Iz. Bold move. One worthy of a queen who was not accustomed to hiding. To arms. It's time for the final battle for Dresden. 
Yes, your arrival has changed everything. Attacked by two armies, we felt like a dilapidated palisade on the verge of being swept away by a giant wave. But with your return, we have become an indestructible wall that will withstand any blow. There's one more thing. In the shattered fragments that form her fate, I can sense your presence. And I am convinced that the Queen could sense it too. No one can say what your next encounter will lead to, but there is one thing I know for certain. Queen Galfrey's fate and yours are tightly intertwined. Oh no! There are too many of them! This is useless. We're done for. Don't fall back. Hold the line. Or in Gofta. A huge, oily Nalfenshi is waiting for you with arms folded. Comes a commander, kids. <laughs> so, commander, do you like what you see? You've arrived just in time to hear your friends screaming for help. They trusted you and look what happened to them. Do you actually think you can rescue them? Ha! <laughs> Who do you think you are? Aponevisi. Okay, whatever. Someone vicious. You shouldn't have angered our master, mortal. You'll take away everything you have. Your mind and your flesh included. You belong to him. Fighters of Dresden. Don't give up. <laughs> Do you really believe they can hear you? All your pathetic attempts to win turn to ashes. Don't you see? And this is the great hero everyone is so afraid of. Oh, come on, show us what you've got. Earn the right to become my plaything, or die alone and forgotten in an unmarked cell. What are you waiting for? Can't you hear them screaming? Why aren't you rushing to help them? Oh, right. You can't. You're just a mortal insect that bit off more than it can chew. You're nobody. Legend Mythic Path. Yes, I am mortal. I am the commander of the Fifth Crusade. This is my city, my people, and my destiny. Whatever. See how you taste, Commander. Oh. Skip straight to the death. Okay. And here we are. Let's see if in the enhanced edition they have made this portion of the game any better. Or if I'm going to have to load a prior save, skip through all this, and re-roll over and over. An incredible silence suddenly descends over the city. It is broken by the solemn sound of fanfares that seem to come from far away everywhere and nowhere all at once all eyes are turned to the huge stained glass window of the city's main cathedral it begins to glow with a soft light and in the next breath a lone figure steps out of the glass and onto the cobblestones of dresden night commander at last we meet well it's ioma day i see sure i'll bend the knee my goddess praise be to your name and since i'm a worshiper of ioma day i might as well do this Rise. I have not come here to receive homage. I suppose you are asking yourself why I am here. Gods must not interfere directly in the affairs of mortals. But what is happening here, in the world wound, is no longer the concern of mortals alone. Ah, oh, so you only get interested when it affects you. Mm. Yeah, about that. You gain more and more frightening abilities. Death is your loyal servant, and the darkness your constant companion. And yeah, that's because the other mythic paths don't blend so well with being a mage. That's all it was, really. I have seen what happened here in Dresden. Despite everything that you have endured, despite the changes you underwent in the Abyss, you relied on your humanity. And you won without losing it. I salute you. For those about to rock. I wish to stop the forces of evil and defend Golarion, both from Daskari's violent rage and from Nocticula's insidiousness. 
But that is not my only goal. I have come here to restore justice, for justice is the birthright of all. That's why I hail you as a hero who has triumphed over the demons many times. At the same time, I grieve for you as for a soul that has succumbed to the influence of the Abyss and been poisoned by its evil. Well, it sounds like it wasn't my doing, so... Eh? Yeah, you're right. But what can I do about it? I have come to help you. In that moment, when my poor Herald was being torn apart by monsters, he found the strength to send me a message about what he had learned in the Abyss. That's true. You were an Illusionera, where you spoke with the Lady in Shadow and the Architect of the World Wound. They confessed what they had done to you, but they did not reveal the whole truth. Both you and this unfortunate world will have to pay dearly for the power that they so generously bestowed upon you. But all is not yet lost. That is why I have come. The walls of Dresden shake again. And with a ringing laugh, a black shadow appears before the shining goddess. Nocticula in the flesh. And what pretty flesh it is. Standing beside her is a Rilu Vorlush who stares at the goddess with ice cold rage in her eyes. <laughs> who here has been taking my name in vain? Ah, it's you, the inheritor. What's this? Our worst fears have come to pass. The gods are flocking to Galarian. This merry little tinderbox could ignite at any moment, reducing the material plane to dust. The material plane is the inner sphere. Is the inner sphere reality in which the planet of Galarian finds itself along with its sun and its ten sister planets. It is an unending void. Occasionally harboring life on terrestrial planets or other less stable celestial bodies. Okay. I did not come here to fight. Oh, really? I didn't realize you were good for anything else. <laughs> uh, forgive me. That was unfair of me. Judging by your successes over the last hundred years, fighting is not your forte. After all, the wound is still there, as far as I know. So why are you here? If you have come to meddle in my affairs, don't expect me simply to stand aside. <laughs> I'm ready to hear what you want to tell me. Do you hear me, Nocticula? You and your servant are under no obligation to leave. I have come here to shed the light of truth. Let us see if you both can withstand its merciless radiance. I cannot change the flow of mortal history by force. After all, the world wound is their doing, although committed at the behest of the Abyss. But sometimes force is unnecessary, and truthful words are all it takes. The goddess who is mortal not so long ago is eager to judge us for our sins now. My sin, to be precise. What lies behind your eagerness, proud Iomide? Righteous wrath, or perhaps fear. Watch out. A simple mortal woman has learned how to grant powers to others. Powers which are beyond the wildest dreams of many Imperial Lords. This must be stopped, forbidden, taken away immediately. After all, what need will we have for all these arrogant gods once we become their equals? Silence! It's impolite to interrupt your elders. But you know, Inheritor, she does have a point. What are you going to do now? Break my weapon, which has made so many victories possible? And only because he received that weapon from my profane hands. And the entire affair must therefore be profane also? What real reasons do you have? Save those born of your envy, your capriciousness, and your suspicions? Fruit born from the poisonous tree, I am. My reasons are quite real, as you well know. That is why you appeared here in such haste, is it not? You have woven a delicate lace of half-truths, Nocticula. From you and your servant, the Knight Commander has learned 
that he is bound to the world wound, that he is slowly dying because of its influence, and that he is yet capable of closing it. But you withheld a crucial piece of information. You never told him that closing the wound won't save him from death. For this lock will destroy the key to which it is bound. The one who closes the world wound will die along with it. That is true. I tried to tell you back in Aleutian era, but I was not allowed to. It is an unavoidable consequence of this process. To stitch two planes together as I have stitched Galarian and the Abyss, the soul of a mortal must be woven with the essence of the Abyss. To undo this seam, the original soul, the key, must be ripped apart. No one could survive such a process. Hmm. What if I reject this power? You will live. You will lose everything that makes life worth living. You will spoil a brilliant endeavor and destroy the lives of thousands of mortals who will be devoured by the legions of demons coming from the Abyss. Aside from that, you won't do anything extraordinary at all. Hmm. What if I'm willing to sacrifice my life if it means closing the world wound? Oh, how noble! For a brief moment, I even felt some regret that we demons are incapable of such lovely feelings. You see now, Inheritor? My little protege has more nobility in him than you expected. Shame on you. This nobility is exactly why I came here. To help the Knight Commander learn the truth, and to show him that he has been used. Besides, I do not believe that you have been acting for selfless reasons, Lady in Shadow. Honesty and nobility have never counted among your virtues. You own the main source of Nehindrian crystals, and your servant Arilu has learned how to break the laws of the universe with their help. Can it be that the ruler of darkness and mistress of assassins has not conceived a way to use this formidable gift for her own benefit? Accusations, suspicions, all completely hollow, just like your bright-eyed pretty little head. It's a pity you inherited Eridan's sword, but not his sharp mind. <laughs> I have but one goal now. To stop the armies of that lecherous billy goat and that gluttonous bug from strutting around my domain as if it were their own. I don't give a fig whether it will help mortals or hurt them. If the enemy of your enemy makes you a mutually beneficial proposition, you would have to be a complete idiot to say no. Hmm. In other words... I'll die if I don't close the wound, and I'll die if I do close it. It is true. Now do you see the perils of accepting a demonic gift? No matter how much power the Abyss gives you, that power will always be tainted by lies and misfortune. This is the justice I promised you. The right to know the whole truth, and not to be a plaything in the hands of Abyssal Spawn. Not particular. Were you trying to hide this from me? Trying, you say? <laughs> I successfully hid the truth from you for as long as I deemed necessary. Are you expecting me to explain myself? My goal is to close the world wound, not to grant you a happily ever after. Hmm. Goddess, can you help me cleanse my soul of the influence of the Abyss? Arilu has planted a piece of the Abyss itself in your soul. The only thing that can cleanse the soul of such a taint is that same soul. But I will be near. I will show you how to root out the demonic corruption. I am not a demon, and I do not offer any simple solutions. You will have to go your own way, no matter where it leads. Well, now I'm finally starting to understand the rules of the game. Yes. The power that Nahindrian crystals grant you will bring about nothing but your own demise. The branches of the Tree of Sin are vast and verdant, but its only fruit is death. You will not be able to save yourself unless you reject everything that has been foisted upon you. Now you know everything. No, we're not quite finished with the revelations yet. Few secrets remain to be revealed, but they will be worth the wait. 
Does this look familiar? Do you remember the similar wound above your own heart? I have given you enough hints. Come on, ask me the question I have been waiting for. Oh, she's begging, isn't she? With the flick of the witch's wrist, something changes her as if a veil has fallen, one so thin that it was almost invisible, but which had clouded your vision nonetheless. Now you can see what was hidden before. A deep open wound above Aurelius' heart. The wound pulsates as blood drips from it. I see. I received my wound because you, Aurelu, implanted the essence of the abyss in my soul when you expanded the world wound. My question is, why do you have a similar wound? Could it be because you used your own soul as a key when you first opened the world wound? That's right. And this means that the world wound actually has two keys. One of which can be used to close it, and which will be destroyed. Good question. Just imagine. I have wasted so much time chasing the key to the world wound, and the key was right under my nose this whole time. Rilu, my love, come over here. Ooh, now Tequila was fooled. And Arilu's like, poof. Arilu does not look like someone who has been cornered. Without a trace of fear, she gives you a faint nod and then makes a barely discernible gesture with her hand and disappears as if she were never even there. Wait, I said wait! That little bitch. I knew she would betray me sooner or later, but I never expected such an idiotic stunt. <laughs> But everything seems to be falling into place quite nicely. You see, you don't have to die after all. Arilu opened the world wound, and Arilu will be the one who closes it, whether she likes it or not. Although, someone will need to catch her first, and this will require certain powers. Yes, Arilu Vorlesh will pay for her crimes with her life. Her flight confirms that our suppositions were correct. But now we know that the world wound can be sealed with her blood. You have no reasons to remain indebted to the Abyss and indulge the Queen of the Succubi. Reject her gift and secure your victory while being the person you were before Arilu Vorlesh corrupted you. Win as a mortal and become a legend among mortals. She's talking rubbish. True, we gave you the power, but it was you who chose how to wield it. It belongs to you, and it will remain yours, so you can do whatever you want with it. But first, you must use it to close the world wound. You aren't going to catch this world's most powerful witch, and a half-demon one at that, with your bare hands, are you? No, that's why I have a kukri in each one. Both the goddess and the demon lord stare at you expectantly. Hmm... I've made my decision. I am waiting for your answer. I hope you will choose wisely. Quite right. Make your choice. And make it the right one. Legend. Mythic Path. Alright, now... And I can't save the game here. This is... Okay, let's see if they change it with the Enhanced Edition. We can choose Lich or Legend. One doesn't need to be a mythic creature, an otherworldly being, or a deity's chosen to become a hero. This path may be grueling and full of temptation, but the mortal who treads it fully earns the right to call themselves a true legend. Yes. Alrighty then. Legend Mythic Path. Can I save it here? I can't. You can't save it before you have to make this. Oh, I accept your help. Strip me of my powers and help me to cleanse myself of the influence of the abyss. What adorable overconfidence. We'll see how you deal with Arilu without the powers she gave you. And then you'll have to fight your way through the armies of two demon lords. But wait, will your powers even let you go? Will you be able to get rid of them even with the help of your imperial guest? Yes, I will. Do not listen to her. Turn to yourself. You are a mortal. That is your weakness, but that is also where your strength lies. Think about it. Who are you? Your soul, your mind, your body. Which of your sides reflects your true self? 
Put your trust in yourself. Find your strength. And strike at the abyss in your heart as hard as you can. You can do it! No matter how dark your soul may be, you can always change. I know this better than anyone. Here, a light engulfs you and penetrates you to your core, and for the first time in your life, you can see yourself on full display. Your body, your mind, and your soul. You see the shadow of the abyss that pervades you, granting you powers, but irrevocably altering you at the same time. You realize that this clarity will be short-lived. This is your first and last chance to become an ordinary mortal again. <laughs> the shadow of the abyss has entangled you, bonded with you, but it hasn't consumed you entirely. Flashing before your eyes are the moments when you rebelled against it, and when you gave in to the temptation. Taking the book in a Rilu's lavatory, but then refusing to take the essence from her hands. And then the moment when you suppressed your power, not allowing it to fall upon Dresden. This bond is not as strong as it may seem. I will rely upon my dexterity because it's so high. You do not move from where you stand, but with the barest shift of your shoulders, you sense that you have made a tremendous leap, instantly leaving behind the shadow of the abyss that has been with you for so many years. Pain, incredible pain. Part of your soul breaks off and melts away, fading into the void. You feel your power leaving you, giving way to something new, something unknown, unimaginable, and at the same time, something not borrowed from any gods or demons, something that belongs to you and you alone. <laughs> so now I'm surrounded by nothing but pathetic mortals? Then I won't waste any more of my time. Congratulations. You have stepped onto the path of cleansing. It will not be easy, but there you will find what the Abyss tried to steal from you. Your true self. I will help you with your first steps. You must go to the places where the power forced on you manifested itself and grew inside your soul. Start with the rift in the Midnight Fane. Once you are there, you will understand what to do next. And now, I bid you farewell. Yeah, path... So they changed it. Oh my god. Alcat changed it. And in the process, made it a thousand times better. It was like... At least one, if not three different saves in a row the last time I did it. And... It was frustrating. That was awesome. You got to pick from your best attribute and just roll against a 10. That was great. Oh my gosh. That's the way it should have been from the start. Thank you for changing that. So with the enhanced edition, they made Legend Mythic Path way more obtainable. You don't have to go through and reload save and sit through all of that dialogue. Sweet. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy with that change. Dresden is back to being Dresden. The people have come in and cleaned up the place. Gotten rid of all the demons. Rebuilt. And our necromancer tower... Which we don't have a need for anymore. The commander has once again re revealed a miracle to the crusaders. But not all miracles fill the hearts with wonder. But for now. This is where we're at. Folks. Thanks for hanging out with me. This has been a lot of fun. I'm very happy to be at this point in the game. Uh, there are things that I would certainly have done different with this game obviously but it's really cool to see the owlcat team change the way the legend mythic path is done that's awesome so i was very happy to see that we're in act five the last act heading towards the finish line thanks for watching everybody as always if you dig it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave your questions in the comments below consider supporting my patreon i will see you all next time happy gaming everyone